people are worried about China as they realize that China is now grabbing Africa and it's no longer the playground for the Europeans any longer. I'm talking about Americans. They are still the same. They are Europeans. They just moved over there. It's no longer a playground for them to loot, although they still have their pipes, you know, dug deep into the, you know, the natural resources in Africa. But China is a huge player right now as they are ready to do all that it takes. Now, the federal government has decided to partner with China in a certain way, although we don't know the details of this partnership. They claim that a car that you probably bought for 2 million naira will now be 100,000 naira soon. And I'm going to tell you guys quickly why. Nigerian Central Bank signed a currency swap, currency swap deal with China. Um, simply put, you will no longer trade in dollars and um, dollar will now be the determinant of what you buy and all of that. So those things that are costly previously will now be cheaper. That's just what you are trying to say. For example, if you bought for 200,000, you might be buying for 50,000 Naira now. And why? What is the trick here? It is the currency um, the foreign exchange. Nigerian Central Bank has signed a currency swap deal with China. It have, you know, they, they've been expecting to do this for the past two years with the Chinese government. And they claim that it is a very important deal and it will favor Nigerians. 70% of the goods mostly are imported from China. Even in America, most of the goods are imported from China. Um, companies in America are all over in Asia, in China, um, precisely, and some of this other Malaysia and the rest of those countries, so that they can get cheaper labor. And you know the trick, um, pollution also will be reduced in America. And that's what Donald Trump is trying to do. He's trying to get back the companies into America and probably give jobs to Americans and, and make sure that they are paid exactly what they are supposed to pay, minimum wage. And But in, in, in this Asian, Asian countries, most of these big companies realize that they can pay less and even get more productivity. That is why they go there. So they claim 70% of the goods that are, are up, yeah, we know that are imported from China and other part of Asia. So from now, instead of using dollar to three, that is a, a dollar to 361 Naira, to import goods. Now, goods can be imported directly from China at the rate of 51 naira uh, to 1 yuan. That's what is spent in China, yuan. As a Nigerian, you can buy goods from China and thereby boosting Chinese economy. Question is this, what is Africa producing? What is Nigeria producing? Are we only consumers? Because a lot of people might jump at this and say, wow, I'm going to be able to have cars. I'm going to be able to buy this. Now, when the world is moving towards cleaner energy, you're going to buy cars that you're going to fuel. And aside that, all right, let's say that China is going to come up with some electrical, electric cars and the rest of that. You are actually growing their own economy and also growing their technology as they would want to produce more. And what about safety and regulations in Nigeria, in Africa? Is there anything like that to regulate, to know what product and quality control? Do we have every of these things? We need to be careful because China is all bent on making money. They care less about anything. They are going to fill Nigeria, fill Africa with substandard products and a, a, whole, a whole lot of you know, products out there. And like I said, growing the economy of China. That's what it is. And China has a way of operating. They will make sure that that product that they bring in, they are the ones that can actually supply the part and repair it because it is patent. So you are just the consumer. Why are we only consumers? And why is it that when young people in, in Africa come up with certain innovations, these, there are some groups of corrupt people that find a way of selling these innovations and this blueprint to China? There are cases where people came up with ideas and they are supposed to, you know, bring these ideas and kind of showcase this idea probably in a summit seminar or somewhere and all of a sudden they are told don't worry just bring it explain how the thing works and the blueprint is sold to a chinese person because a minister or a representative of government wants money and is bribed and he gives that blueprint to that person and say don't worry we have given it to them let us see how the government is going to work on this and that is how the person goes off without any money maybe they give the person a little stipend and that's the end of it and you cannot even assess that not that, that politician or that minister you know you cannot assess them any longer and you don't even have a voice so they claim that chinese yuan will be used instead of american dollar now it sounds great somehow that you know a lot of people that are involved in you know import and all of that can actually do business much more and probably to reduce and weaken the dollar as people care less about dollar you know dollar is the standard um, for business 
everywhere, exchange rate for business. But then the yuan will going to be the next and thereby making that Chinese currency stronger. And soon, from 51 naira, China will increase it to 61 because they're already borrowing money out of Africa. So as you borrow money, the exchange rate increases. They increase it to 61. Soon, it will be 100 naira to 1 yuan. What a shame. What are we talking about here? I thought they are going to say, okay, we are going to have 2 naira to 1 yuan. And let's say, okay, let's start with that. But that is not the case. You are going to give them 51 of yours, 50 of yours, just for the, uh, the, the, exchange, the foreign exchange of 1. What a shame. So they claim that time has come for dollars and pounds to bow out. To bow out of the business. Nobody's going to be trading if you're buying things from China, which 70% of things are imported from China. If you're buying anything, you are no longer going to trade in dollars, no longer going to trade in pounds. Now, that seems to be a very good idea somehow. But as we are looking at this good idea that the government is coming up with, let us also look at we ourselves not being consumers. Consumers. Consumers, that's just what it is. So let, let, let us look at this. And they are talking about secondhand products from you know most of these countries from Europe, America. It's no longer going to be so again as China has a lot of products. They have a lot of automobiles that people can buy for you know cheap. They can buy this cheap, so everyone will have automobile you know cruising all over. That seems to be a very good idea. But then, like I said, it is very 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 important. Very very important for us to look at how we cannot how we don't continue to be um you know consumers you no know, china stands to gain more from this new policy they stand to gain more from this new policy even though there is going to be a swap of chinese yuan with naira and no longer british pounds or israeli shekel and and the rest of that it's 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 going to be you know kind of um it, well, I think that Africa should begin to trade with themselves now and begin to grow each other's economy, begin to explore the strength and weakness of each other rather than just focusing on other you know, nations that have made their mark. They've made their mark. So, well, that's my own opinion about this, about growing Africans' economy and also growing our science and technology, you know, ability for the government to, to involve themselves in science and technology support promote but i don't see that being you know, happening in any large scale in fact i don't think there is anywhere that the government is in support and promoting science and technology and making sure that we can actually produce meat in african products that are supported in africa there are that are maintained in africa rather than what i'm seeing right here it's not it's not that encouraging that we should always become consumers and all of that. And that's not to say we don't have people that have, you know, they have that talent, they have that skill, they have the talent, they have everything right there. But there is no support. No one is actually supporting them. You, if you go online, you see young people that have come up with some little ideas here and there, even without much education, they've been able to come up with a lot of things. Now, what about the exchange rate? That they, what, what about... Apart from the currency swap, are we are we also thinking of exporting certain things like cassava, palm oil, farm products, and the the, the rest of those agricultural products? Because the the recent thing I heard now is that China is now packaging soup and importing back to Nigeria. Ogbono soup, okra soup, most of the foods and staple food that we eat in Nigeria, they are now packaging ogbono and the rest of those things and pushing it back you know, ready made into Nigeria, these people are ready to look into our business, which is not a crime. Everyone has the opportunity to look into, you know, whatever they can do to make money for themselves. But but we need to look at this. We need people, economists that have the ability to reason properly, to look into, into all of these things so that we can also have a platform where we all gain, not just, oh, now you can buy something for 51 Naira and you can do this and that. Not, not because it's not good, but then we should also be able to look into all this. So what, what what's your own take about this? Are you vast in economics? Do you understand uh, most of these things? What do you think is much more better? Let us meet at the comment section. Drop it at the comment section. What's, what's your take? How do you think um, Nigeria or a new nation, let's say Biafra, let's say um, Anago or Eko, Lagos, or a new nation that's going to break off? 
How do you think you, we can actually forge ahead? How do you think we can deal with other countries when it comes to business and also be productive, not just consumers? Um, that's what it is for now. If you're not a member of this channel, let us create together by you tapping on the subscription button and the red notification icon bell below. It will alert you whenever videos such as this are uploaded. And for those who are already a member of this channel, I say a very big thank you for the support.